Welcome, affiliated listeners, to another episode. Uh, as I burp right at the beginning, just to screw up all the perfection of an intro. <laughs> but we have another great episode uh, today, and we are going to be talking about something that is in almost every single part of your marketing. You might think that it's copy, but it's not that. In fact, I would say it's bigger than copy because we know that a picture could say a thousand words, and that's what we're going to be talking about today with our very talented, very impressive guest, Mo Latif. Mo, how are you doing this morning, by the way? Or I guess this afternoon uh, for you. I'm, more I'm good. It's in the late afternoon, but yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And I am really excited to talk today because now I won't tease anyone too much about some of the things that Mo's going to share. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to make your life easier, better, and you're going to have better conversions out of it. But before we get to that, we need to establish the world that we're discovering or talking about today, which is that of images. I mentioned it before. It's a super important part of your business. And it's also part that surprisingly people either think is just super easy and Google will solve all their problems um, or they, um, you know, they're, they're just kind of like not really that focused on. They don't really know the risk of just grabbing some things off the internet and throwing them on their sales page. So um, with that being said, I actually want to go from you as somebody that's been really well experienced in this industry for a long time. You have probably had to deal with more images and pictures and graphic design than you've ever thought you would in your life. So um, just to get things going, walk me through, tell me, um, Mo, kind of what's the, what are some of the biggest challenges that people or biggest mistakes people make when they're new and they're trying to use images for the first time in their marketing? What are some of the challenges and things that you experience and you see people experience time and time again? Well, that's a good question, considering the fact that um, I think I've been doing this for like 20 years. And what I can no, tell yeah. is just ridiculous because um the biggest problem most people are actually going to have, and especially when they're starting out, is actually finding people to work with, finding people to do their graphic, find mm -hmm. to do everything. If they have a skill set, um, they will be good at that skill set. But then you have to learn HTML, you've got to learn um, graphic design, you've got to learn, I mean, to run a business online, you need a bunch of wide range of skills. And I think the yep. problem with hiring uh, which I believe many people actually have the same problem as, as well. It, it takes time. You can't get somebody like tomorrow. It takes time. You've got to vet people. Yep. You've got to go to their profiles. You've got to interview them. And by the time you um, get them and anything could happen to in their lives and they could just walk away and then go to uh, pick up another project that's paying more, paying less, or whatever, or the cat could have died. You have no control of their situation. <clears throat> what you do yeah. have control over is your situation. And it's incredibly hard, especially when someone's actually starting out. Because after the vetting process, then you've got to check, check the designs out. And don't assume that on the first run, you're going to get what you want. I mean, I could articulate something to you and you could understand it and we could be on the same um, on, the, on the same level. But then you'll want a couple of days or maybe a week to actually, you know, process that thought, make some samples and back to me. I'll look at them and think, yeah, this is not what I asked for. Or this is good, but make some tweaks. Now, this process as well <clears throat> is time consuming as well, um, simply because it's not what you want. Now, because yeah. of the explaining part and the constant communication, it slows your business down because you've, you've got to focus on the this this part, which many people at the time don't think is important, but it's very, very important. And very important, yeah. You're, you're tweaking, you're, you're getting updates done, and even little tweaks that will take, you would know that, I mean, let's, let's look at it like a, a Word document. So when you look at a Word document, when you want to make a change in the document, you just go and press the button, you can change and to capital A-N-D, right? couple of seconds. But when you do design or when you get graphics done, you just kind of wonder thinking, what, what is taking you so long to change that right. little image <laughs> yeah. that I know yep. it takes seconds to change? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the biggest frustration when I was especially on deadlines um, for my own projects. Uh, so when I hired people, um, I mean, they did a great job like two or three years later. <clears throat> like <in the> time <laughs> of, for them to get to where I want them to be. Um, it's a process. It's not like they will understand what your vision is. They'll understand which way you want to go. They want to. They'll also understand the kind of images you actually want. <clears throat> a yeah, lot of people assume you mean... can just go onto Google. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh no, go ahead. No, a lot of people assume you can just go onto Google, just um, you know, Google Images, and just search for the image and 
I used it, download. I think the first time I did that, I got a letter from Getty Images. Like, this is back in 2008. And it was £275. And, and I was like, how did they even catch me? Right? But then since then, I mean, I've never used it. But now there's more strict rules. Uh, because before, mm -hmm. I mean, it was the Wild Wild West. But still, I got busted. Right? Um, yeah. So I paid the fine. Uh, and then since then, I've been I've been creating unique content, um, especially when it comes to graphics as well. I will go out of my way to make sure that I have really good um, uh, co um, visual content simply because the words on a page, uh, it's like reading a book. When you read a book, um, you will visualize the content, okay? But when you have pictures, you don't need to visualize the content because you can see the picture. The visualization yep. is right in front of you, right? So what we do mostly is, even though we do copy, we have the copy, but then if people are scanning the page, we want an image that resonates with the content. Mm -hmm. So if they scan it, they'll see, okay, wow, maybe I need to read this section because this image over here is saying something to me. And mm -hmm. it caught my eye, it caught my attention, and I'm going to read this part. Does that make yeah. sense? <clears throat> totally. Well, and I think images have the power to really tap into that subconscious a lot faster than sometimes words, right? Words require that processing of communication, understanding, yeah. language. And then, you know, that goes in a different part of our brain. That's why people yeah. often say, well, like, you read and write. Mm -hmm. It's different than when you watch. You experience it differently. You engage in it differently. Um, so images are, are kind of, they could go past some of that logical processing and straight to our emotional things. Where lots of times, you know, people look at an image and they have an emotional response. They don't even know why they're experiencing it, but they're experiencing it. That's much harder to do with words. So images are super powerful. And just to go back and kind of recap what you're saying, because I think this is really, really key, especially for new people. Like you're saying, it's either you have to figure out how to become a graphic designer um, if you're looking to get original content and original images, which if that's what you're really into, great, you should go and do that. But there are a lot of people, myself included, that do not want to have to learn everything that it takes to go do design just so you could have easy access to limiting that part of your business when there's so many more things to learn. Like you said, as an online marketer, it's like there's no shortage of mastery that you're supposed to have to get things going. So um, it, the flip side, though, is, you know, then you go out and hire somebody like you said, like now you have a whole different skill. It's learning to communicate to somebody so they understand what you want. That takes time. That takes frustration. That takes practice. And there's lots, lots, of, lots of times, as I'm sure you experience, you hire somebody, you vet them, you try them, and it just never works, right? It's just they never quite get there. Um, or you find somebody you love and then they disappear because, like you said, life happens. So it becomes this super frustrating process. Um, with getting these images, but we know that they matter and they matter so much. And that was a great tip that you talked about on the copy of using it as signals to highlight, read this now. I really, really enjoyed that. But that being said, we just don't have a super efficient way. You're either getting an expensive agency or individuals and freelancers doing it yourself. It, yeah. it feels like in this world of technology and AI and all this stuff, we should have an easier way. But as I mentioned before, we have something really exciting to share, which is there is an easier way. Um, there's quite a bit of an easier way to really gain control of your images and easily start getting original, valuable, impactful content. So instead of me stealing your thunder, I'd love to hear if you want to tell the people kind of the third option that you actually have when it comes to getting images in your business and on your marketing funnels. And it's a lot easier than the two that we mentioned before. Also better too. I should say that. <laughs> so there's only three ways of actually getting your visual content. Number one, you can learn to do it yourself. Number two, you can um, hire on Fiverr or Upwork. I mean, anybody can go there and actually start hiring people. Uh, and the yep. third option is you can hire people in-house. Okay. Now, with, I'll go with the first one, which is, um, well, the last one, which is hiring people in-house. You That's going to be expensive simply because, yeah. let's say you're doing a project. When the project finishes, the design elements of that project, what's next? Now, yeah. I actually hired people, but I got to a point where I didn't need any graphics for um, some part of the business. And I was like, what do I do with these guys now? So I kept them for a bit. <laughs> then, you know, it's expenses, hard costs. So I have to fire them. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, uh, you're looking at hiring on Fiverr. You're looking at hiring on Upwork. But again, you've got to go through a process. It's not like it's going to happen with a click of the finger. Yeah. You need to go through that process. You've got to find people, vet their work. It's a whole, and even if you find people, you don't know what's going to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then the third process is um, you can learn to do it yourself. You can learn graphic design. I mean, 
there's a lot of people who are actually using um, Photoshop, which is, I would say, the masterpiece of like, you know, uh, design. But the biggest problem they have, or you will have, is you're going to need to spend at least 10,000 hours to become an expert in that thing. Oh, and man. yeah, in this day and age, you are not, you do not have that um, time to sit there and learn, go to YouTube tutorials, whatever it is. It's, it's incredibly difficult. I mean, yeah. I've known of Photoshop since like, what, 2005. I have opened it. I have seen a blank canvas. And I'm thinking, okay, what do I do next? Yeah. And even if I tried it, like, I, I just nowhere. I just need to make some <laughs> wicked memes. Like, can I get to wicked meme them? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's yeah. too hard. So, yeah. Um, so once I was actually um, hiring people and um, uh, trying different softwares and stuff, there was nothing available in regards to like building um, great looking uh, on high converting sales pages, webinar uh, pages, offers, funnels, uh, blog pages, um, for even content for your social media and even for your email promotions as well. Um, so what I actually started doing is I started creating a, a software like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And whilst I was creating the software, um, I was creating graphics for my own project and I was selling, um, I mean, promoting them online. And in the three years while we were just in the testing phase to make sure it actually works perfectly well, we, um, well, me and my partner did $4.4 million in sales using the software. That's not oh, nice. software being sold. It's not even built. Yeah. It's not complete. We're still, I mean, I want it to be perfect to the point that, yeah. okay, do you know what? If I want something, I can go in, get what I want and get out and I'm done. I don't want to spend two, three hours doing something. I just want to go in there, click a few buttons and I am done. So what's interesting is when I showed these pages to my, um, uh, let's say colleagues and uh, uh, partners in, in the industry, um, mm -hmm. they were actually asking for an intro to my designer. And I'm thinking, what if I said there is no designer? There's no, there's no human being be behind this. And they're like, no, it can't be true. So they didn't believe me because they know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a graphic designer. So they knew I was hiring somebody. Yeah, like, you didn't do this. Until three <laughs> years later, after I was like, like I don't know, 99% satisfied with what it can actually do. Not just for me, mm -hmm. for, but for other people. Um, I, showed, I started showing it to um, some high-level marketers to get that opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. Within 30 seconds of actually showing, the, showing a demo, um, let's say even two minutes, everybody was just like abruptly stop me there and say, look, dude, we get it. Just give me access. And I'm thinking, but I haven't shown you the rest of the demo. And I said, no, no, just, just, just give it, just give, be no exactly what this is. I mean, just, what you can do just for give us. it to me. I just give it, it <laughs> just give it to me. Um, and the whole idea was to eliminate the, the graphic designer, the webmaster, the coder, and it works perfectly brilliantly well with, um, site builders such as, um, Kajabi groove, um, Kartra, ClickFunnels, uh, Elementor, Beaver Builder. <clears throat> and what's interesting even is we actually built it around ClickFunnels uh, originally, hence mm -hmm. the name Click Designs. Yep. But it came to a point where we finished everything and then we used it. And then just one day, randomly, I was thinking, you know what, I need a corporate site. I'm going to go to Elementor, which is a WordPress engine uh, powered uh, site builder. Mm -hmm. And let me see if, I'm, if these graphics actually work there. So I went to Elementor, set the site up, and I put the graphics in, and I was like, this actually works. I'm You're thinking, built. hang on, <laughs> this is WordPress. It wasn't built around WordPress. Yes. Um, it was built around ClickFunnels. So when I tested it in Elementor, I was like, you know what? Let me just go and test it in Optimize Press. Let me go and test it in Divi Builder. Let me go and test it in Beaver Builder. And I'm like, holy crap, this actually works across the board. Nice. So then from ClickFunnels to WordPress powered engines, I went to like GrooveFunnels and I went to um, Convertry and I went to a bunch of other ones. And I've just, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the whole process wasn't create the design, then slice it, edit it and put it on the site, right? The whole mm -hmm. process was create the graphic, add it to the site and that's it. There's no slicing, there's no coding, there's no editing, there's nothing, that's you're done. Crazy. I so, mean, it just, it, it just the path to getting success there, like similar to what we've seen with ClickFunnels, but you know, you don't have to, like, like I said, it's, it's, it's broader and it's bigger and it, it, it works almost anywhere. That just sounds awesome. Yeah. I mean, like I said, that was the accident. We thought it would just work with ClickFunnels, but apparently yeah. it, as it turns out, it works out, it works with all the major, um, site builders, uh, available online. And we've so, tested most of them. And it's just a drag and drop thing. That's it. 
That's crazy. That is so awesome. So like, I guess, and this sounds stupid, but like, is it, is it that easy to be able to just say, Hey, I want to pick up an image and I want to change the color here. And like, is it almost like using paint? Like, I'm curious to know like what, what this looks like, what, what impressed all these marketers so much when they saw this, so they have to have, I mean, conceptually I'm very excited, but I'd love to see how easy it could be to just kind of load up and do an image. Is that something you could show me right now? Yep. I'm, let me just bring that up right here. Ooh. I think this might, this might be um, one of the, the first that we've done, at least in this setting and on, um, on Riverside is actually have like a full demo on something. So that's pretty exciting. You're breaking so, our demo cherry here, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> this will change the way you actually make graphics, like literally forever. Um, because, so as soon as you log in, I mean, this is what you'll come to, right? We've got a and Facebook so for those for YouTube. Yeah, and I'll, what I'll do, Mo, is um, as you go, I'll probably pause and just explain this for those that are listening and not actually seeing. I, first, I would tell you, if you are listening, this might be a section in a period to just pause go jump to YouTube, go watch this portion. We're going to show and have the video so you can actually see what's going on. Um, but if still, I will make sure to describe it best I can as if we are Orson Welles um, trying to describe the war of the worlds. But, um, you know, right now it definitely looks like it's it's pretty simple right from the get-go. I see like a YouTube video that gives you demos. And um, yeah, it just looks like some active designs right now that look quite impressive so anyway i'll let you go from there mo <laughs> right so we so we, we built so because we um could it worked with elementor and all the wordpress engine builders we built a wordpress plugin um and then we went a step further and we built a chrome extension so let's say i'm not even on or inside click design uh there's an icon we just click the icon and what it basically does is it connects to my account through the chrome extension so let's say you're doing an email um to somebody or um, you send in a Gmail out or any kind of email you're using Chrome, you click the icon and all your graphics become available here. And as you're writing the email or this promotional email, just click on the download button and you get your graphics when you need them and wherever you need them. Um, you don't need just to go right back there. to the actual website itself. Um, that so that's awesome. one of the things right that we actually did as well. Um, cool. So that's really cool. As soon as you log in, I mean, we also give people a, a, a walkthrough. So, I mean, let's say you log in and you think, mm, you know what, mm -hmm. this is a bit too complicated, um, which is completely not, which I'll show you in a second. Um, there's a 30 minute demo that shows you exactly what to do and how to move around. But in order to answer your question in regards to how simple this is, we'll click on the template section. And right now, what you can see is a bunch of let's say really nice looking graphics, right? Um, so for example, mm -hmm. this one here, you'd be probably paying, I don't know how much, 100, 200, maybe $300 to get it done. Yeah, um, something like that. And yeah. again, Especially these are just custom graphics. With the multiple product images. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the custom graphics we've actually created for our own businesses. And what we also do is we see other, um, uh, you know, successful, uh, not just marketers, but also websites that actually have really good graphics. We look at them, we model them and we bring them into the system. Um, but before I get into the editing part, so you can do not only your custom graphics, you can do your logos. And again, um, thousands of logos here. And I could just keep clicking view more and it'll carry on and it'll carry on and it'll carry on. You can oh, search man, um, by just by clicking on and checking them out or alternatively, you can search it by uh, keyword or by industry type. So you could build your own, like you could build your entire own logo if you wanted. Like in here, you could take something, Spire to just create and make your entirely, like your own logo. You don't need to go hire yeah. some brand marketer to write that. That is so cool. That is so awesome. But here's the thing. And, and, and when you get a you second too, yeah, and you get a second, we won't, I want to go, um, when we can, I want to go back to one of the images on the previous page because I just wanted mm -hmm. to kind of highlight the work and stuff I saw in there. Recently, I went through an experience trying to work with somebody to do this themselves. They were teaching themselves Photoshop, and it was a stacking angled images of some stuff. If you want to scroll down, then I'll, I'll kind of describe it. Um, yeah, scroll down a little bit more. Where was it? It was like three. It's just been um, refreshed. So every single time you refresh it, you get a new portal. Oh yeah, I was gonna say there's already they've already changed. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't even see. Oh um, well, that if you go to the um, second row, oh now it's the top row to the far left. 
the this part, one? Or this, this is one? the part of the um. Oh, ooh, it's neither of those. Scroll up more. This is the part where I just guide Mo. Super engaging podcast content. <laughs> I'm right there. Okay, so go all the way to the left and then one down. This one? Um. Yep, that one. Okay. This will work. I just just the stacked images and making that have appropriate shading. Um, so this you know, these are three kind of product images where you have a yeah. book, we have software, and we have a laptop. Trying mm-hmm. to get somebody to do this with graphical elements in the background, I, it, like even paying, I paid somebody to do this, and it didn't look mm-hmm. half as good as this. We had to like coach them to get there to make it organically look like these things are sorted with each other. Just mm-hmm. looking at this image. It's got great shadowing. It's got a great background. This looks like perfect. And just in recent experience, getting an image like this took, it took over a week for us to get it right. And many, many like back and forth edits, at least like three times to go back and get it there. And I imagine this probably took you a couple of seconds. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out that like real life example that this could be a pain for something that doesn't even look that good. If you you want to see pain, let me, let me show you pain. Oh, I right. love seeing pain. <laughs> if, you, if you if you want to see pain, let me show you pain. So there's this uh, section yes. here, and it's called bundles. Okay, so if I click on bundles, mm. this is what you want to call pain. Oh wow, yeah. Now the oh, interesting this looks so part good because yeah, this, look at look how good these bundles are. Yeah, I mean the interesting part to this. Um, I had a, uh, an actual real, um, not just a graphic designer, but also a video uh, creator. And mm-hmm. I presented him something like this. Okay. And my question to him was simple. How long would, you, would it take you to actually make me this? And his answer was, you know what? I'm going to need at least five days because I've got to make it in Photoshop, got to do the mockups, got to do this, and I got to do that, et cetera. And he said five days. I go, Are you sure? I mean, could it not be done like three days or four days? He goes, No, no, I need to make the mockups. I've got to do XYZ. And I go, Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what if I make this for you within 10 minutes? And he's like, What? Seriously? So then I showed him a demo and he's like, Dude, you've got to give me access to this. Like, do you know how hard this is to actually get done? We can literally do this mm-hmm. in, in minutes. This is what you call difficult. I mean, yeah. like I said, I mean, these are yeah. like all different styles, all different ranges. Yeah. And they're so, so you the, way, the way that they are just stacked together, like that is so hard to do. Like it is so hard to do. I just, I was that just already, you haven't shown me how easy it is to do. I'm just like, if you're easily making these images, that's just crazy. That's just crazy stuff. So. Um, Because that is such a pain, such a pain to go through that. It is. It is. This is a bit lost thing, um, bundle. And again, everything that you see, you can just literally go in there and edit these out and make them like your own bit lost offer. Um, Yeah. I mean, the fact, look how seamlessly that image is put at an angle on the laptop. Like that's, people don't do that very well often. And that looks seamless. That's great. Yeah. This is why I so, actually spent my time actually building this to make sure that, you know, if I'm going to use it for my own sales page and I've got every marketer that I know asking the same question saying, do you know what, dude, mm-hmm. introduce us to your designer. And I'm thinking, what if I told you there was no designer? Um, yeah. And yeah. they wouldn't believe me until like, they were like adamant, like saying, look, dude, you need to give us some, you got to give us something. So then right. this is where I show yeah. them the demo, just like mm-hmm. I'm showing it to you right now. And again, how often do you see these? That's literally every more or less offer on ClickBank yeah. that actually has these kind of box shots. Yep. And there's thousands yeah, of these that. as well. Wow. And so you could be, you could, I mean, anything like ease of split testing, ease of product creation, it just from a timing perspective, all that's so much faster and quicker. And yep. you, you know what you want because you can make it from the sounds of it, right? So exactly. how do you but go the- about like creating one of these images? Like do you just pick a template and go? What does it look like? Like so we want to make our own. I'll give you. Own ebook. I'll give you a funny story as well because I had an assistant. <clears throat> sorry, so I had an assistant who actually made. Uh, so I said to her, "Look, I need something like this. Go inside, click design, and make it." And she goes, "Okay." So she spent like three hours or four hours. I'm thinking, "What are you doing?" And she <laughs> goes, "Look, I made it from scratch." And I'm like, "Why are you making it from scratch? There's thousands of templates. So all you got to do is go inside, choose a category or choose a template that you like, click edit." 
So for example, um, let's just pick this one, anyone. Okay, preview. So the whole idea is to go in, say you like this, all you have to do is Data agent use the template. This plan, beautiful. Give it a name, go inside. So once you're inside, just click on edit. So you can export the flat if you want. You can uh, add libraries, uh, add your images from the library. You can upload your own images. So I'm gonna click on the edit. I'm gonna take you into the canvas and I'll actually show you how easy this actually literally is. Let's so you can so reduce this the is size. Gonna pull up just, the, just that cover is what this will pull up. Just there. that cover, just yeah. The whole image, just cover. I'm guessing this is your internet. Is We're slowing down your internet with all this video <laughs> recording too. So just so you guys know, the performance of the software, apparently, you know, it, it's very good. It's just being impacted by all the data we're taking on Mo's network. <laughs> just loads it up. And then it's almost like using like a WYSIWYG graphic design element. So it has all yeah. sorts of different things that we can start adjusting, stamping out. I imagine you could probably get really granular if you want with the image, but also probably make it really easy even if, if you don't want to go crazy okay oh. so coming to the point of um of editing mm -hmm. so everything that you see on the canvas is oh, sorry, i mean i'll reduce the size again so you can see the full screen everything on the canvas is fully editable okay so you can increase decrease so let's just say we do this Change oh, the nice. and then you got your filters. And how easy would it be to to change that image? What if we want to make this from healthy foods to like all right. so junk food? You just go into images. How do we make so this look like you can all, add your yeah. own images right here, or you can select the images in the library that we provide you. You can also search a database on Pixabay. Um, so let's just say uh, rate loss, click search, and I bring up all the royalty free images inside Pixabay. And in order to use nice. them, all you've got to do is literally click, hit first in the canvas, and there you go. We have this. So with your own. Here. <laughs> what a great image. That's great. So we've got this guy over here. Um, and again, you can um, make him as, I mean, if we do this entire thing over here. He does look like the poster child for what, what happens if you <laughs> eat too much kale. That's the face that you start making when, when you have to consume too much of it. So I'm going to send him to the back. So let's say we get rid well, of all these that. images here. And if I, so this is our progress so far. Yeah. So you can see oh, it wow. before you even finish it. Okay. So this is our progress That's so awesome. far. That's awesome. And the whole point is <clears throat> once so you're inside here. Too. That's so quick. Yeah. I mean, not only that, um, there's, there's a bunch of things you can do with this. You can add the shadow to the image. You can add a circle to his face. So if I come over here, make him an image. <laughs> That's real good. That's real good. Um, so you can have the borders and stuff. I mean, you can turn them to the back and bring them to the front. Uh, you can flip his face to, to look the other way. But I'll go into that. so the cool <clears throat> sorry, so the so the so the cool thing about click designs is basically there's two elements to this. One is these are the templates that we create for you, which means mm -hmm. you can come in here, simply click edit, make a few adjustments, and you're done with the graphic, right? And then you also have my designs, which is basically all the graphics that you've created in your account will be available mm -hmm. to you inside here. 
so as you can tell, my account's pretty busy. Um, so yeah, yeah, loads man. of stuff. Yep, and that's just to justify, not even justify, just to prove the point that look, yeah, we we're not using anything except for click design for all our pages, all our graphics. Mm-hmm. So once you're inside the canvas, what we do is we make all your designs available to you inside click designs inside oh, nice. the can inside the editor so you don't need to fumble around back and forth to look for your stuff you can just literally come in here and just grab the stuff so for example this is let's pick something so this guy here um how to speed up muscle growth i'll come inside here and you'll see i can either edit directly from the canvas or i can actually use him straight away and what that basically does is it just brings it from my design and sticks it straight on the canvas as well and then you can start mm. moving that around and put it in part of the um uh, as part of the um the design that you actually want so this is right here this literally prevents people from going in and out uh out of the builder and just basically staying here and actually do everything that you need to get done then you've got the text nice. editing, the usual stuff. There's thousands of fonts, well, hundreds of fonts, um, all the functionalities for that. Then you've got the backgrounds, gradients, images, shapes, thousands of shapes you can actually use. So if I just click on that, bring that. Well, they're making here. up shapes there. You can see that. Though that was that was a paint stain. That wasn't a shape. Look at that. What is that? What is that a shape? <laughs> That's so cool. That's just. Um, I mean, there's a lot of. So here's the thing. Oh, so, but you can what? do so many. Does you push that in the back, change the color, you create all sorts of unique exactly. design elements. So, that That's so here's cool. what you'll notice is. So let's say if you see this, you're probably thinking, okay, you know what, that doesn't look too good. But here's the fact. Yeah. This is not even our idea. Does that make sense? This was taken mm, from yeah. other design, well, pro designers, right? And what they basically do is stuff like this. And we learned this from them. So now we can do what they do and make things stand out. So if I do a preview now, just that section there I added, originally it looked like a stupid thing, but look at it now. Yep. Yeah, wow. See, so yeah, no. It gives the really texture to the book now, doesn't it? Design element. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. So now so I have a question because I think this is like, this makes me feel like I could almost do design. Like any, any, not anybody, because I think you have to have like an art and eye, but accessibility in terms of getting it done is, you know, with the software makes it so easy. That being said, like you just mentioned, like here's some things that you can learn, you know, from studying design. Do you guys have resources that teach like design best practices? Is there like community, like a, a group? So we, we literally update our... So we literally update our YouTube channel like almost every like other day with oh, new nice. content, how to um, make uh, landing pages, how to make webinar pages. And um, we even have a Facebook group where we show people and teach them all different things, all design related and how to actually use this. So let's say if something takes you 10 minutes, um, but we can give you a method or a strategy that will allow you to do that in two minutes. So even oh, though nice. you are still saving the five days, you get out in 10 days, but we'll show you how to even get it down to two minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's not enough. So we from, don't want to save you yeah. days. We want to save you days and minutes and everything. Minutes. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's the key thing. Um, so I, yeah. So sorry. So again, shapes, icons, elements, uh, 3d stuff as well. Um, illustrations, you can add your brand kits. Uh, and then you also got, um, you can also create your, your QR so you code. you can upload your brand kit in there if you want to as well. So the key thing is, I'm mean, sorry. So in, in, you can add you. Yeah, correct. You can add your own brand kit. So if I go into my settings over here mm-hmm. and I go to brand kits and inside here, you can create your brand kit. And that also becomes available inside the editor. So you don't go back and forth inside and out. Um, uh, while she, while she finishing the project. That's nice. That's really nice. And coming back to the same question that you mentioned earlier in regards to like, how quick will somebody actually be able to, uh, become a designer or, in, or in that regards, you don't need to be, or become a designer. You don't even need to be a designer. What we do is, <clears throat> sorry. So we simplify the process for you. What we say is come in, see what you like, use the template, edit, move a few things about. Give it um, your name, your company, or your brand, or your product name, and then save it, and you're done. 
So that example earlier that I mentioned, that when I asked my, <clears throat> sorry, when I asked my um, uh, assistant to actually create me something, she came back three, three, four hours later, and I said, "Why did it take you so long? There must be something wrong." And she said, "Yeah, I started from scratch." I go, "You don't need to start from scratch. What you can do is just go in there, find a template, click edit, and you can do this in ten minutes or in a couple of minutes." And she did. She came back, and um, if I have it here, I can show it to you. And this is someone who has zero design skills, okay? Zero design That's skills. Good now. She's never designed in her entire life. This is what she created. Now, you tell me. Oh, wow. From a, She's never from a non-designer, before. for the first time ever, to come in and actually build that, make this. That's crazy. That's good. That is instant content right there. It just feels that way. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's, and the that's reality really impressive. is so yeah. so real fast then actually on this so like when users create images and they mm -hmm. they're uploading stuff does that now become a part of the overall database when users like almost like it's constantly growing because people are feeding more into it or is there a way for you to like only or is that just your team that's generating the library of templates oh so um that make sense? yeah we create Sorry, the library of um, the question yeah, so I mean, we, we, we create the content uh, constantly. I mean, if we have a customer that basically says, okay, you don't have anything for this kind of thing, we'll make it. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? So, I mean, there yeah, was... Yeah, um, okay. so, yeah, you guys are, wanted to... you guys are doing it. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. it's not I mean, like we, my, we... me going and creating a unique element or uploading something. That's no, still going to be no. mine. It's not going to get shared to everyone else. Okay, good. That's that's yeah. kind of what I was asking. So perfect. Well, man, yeah, I that, mean, so whatever you from create, here, though... Oh, uh -huh. go ahead. And I was going to say, whatever you create in your account only stays in your account. So everything that you see in my designs are all the assets in your account. Nobody else has got access to that. They have access gotcha. to the templates, but not your my designs. These are all yours. Mm. Good to know. Good to know. And then, um, oh man, I had a question. I just lost it, Mo. It just it escaped me. Um, oh. I'll give you something to talk about. <laughs> there you go. Give me something to talk about, and I'll come up with a so, question in a second. Let's say, for example, you're online. Okay, and you see um, a bundle or a bundle set, and you think, you know what, that mm -hmm. looks really cool. I'm actually yeah. gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna go and make it inside Click Designs or whatever you want to actually make it. But mm -hmm. let's say we don't have it. Okay, but what yeah. we do give you is the ability to create the exact same frame. So let's say, um, Kyle. Now this is all dependent on my internet speed, but I'll show you. So when you make something custom, you get an extra menu here and it's called bundles, okay? Okay. So when you click on bundles, what actually happens is it brings up all the different box shots, covers, sheets, devices onto the canvas. So let's say for argument's sake, if I pick this, that's the wireframe for one, okay? So I've got a box shot. Now let's say I want um, a laptop. Click on devices. So you could just start adding and building your own bundle with right down to the so devices. Level. And I'm on a, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I'm on a Marco, I'm on a, a laptop. I've got a tablet. So if I so right now I have a box shot, a laptop, as well as a monitor and an iPad. What else do we want? Hmm. Do do we have like e readers or anything? Or definitely a laptop. But we do we add that laptop? Yep. Or the monitor. No, we can add a laptop. Um. So let's say we want a laptop. Let's pick a laptop. Let's pick this one here. So here's your laptop. And then. And the thing is, nice. you can create your exact wireframe <clears throat> in terms of how you want to present what your bundle looks like. Because let's say you see that mm -hmm. online and you think, you know what, I like that layout. You can literally get that layout and make it inside click design as your template. So what that means is you can reuse that template over and over again. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. So that you is just only have to build it once. In if you're building multiple products, multiple so you want to split test the different design things, you could still with the frame, make a template, reuse it again, and then just add the additional elements as you go. Um, which yeah. again, it's just, it's just so much easier to be able to do that. That just kind of, especially like this, with those bundles, which are just so hard. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is the exact same thing that I asked the um, asked that designer stroke video editor. Like, 
mm-hmm. how long would it take you? And he said, five days. And I'm like, what if I can make it for you yeah. in seconds? So here's in that yeah. bundle. <laughs> And all I need to do now is add my graphics, right? Mm-hmm. Now you get your graphics from, so here's the bundle. And it says replace markup. Either you have a bundle or a design ready in your system, or you can create from scratch. Now, because I've got one, I'm going to click on use and replace the wireframe with the actual design. Replace. So, so and it already this. knows to do that, right? Like I don't have to measure it out. It knows the no. element and then it knows the, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Click here, um, replace mock-up. So I've got one here. I'll use that. And there, we're done. Look at that. So now let's that's say you awesome. want to go a step further and you want to actually start adding, you know, different um, backgrounds. So if I come inside here, type in wood, this will give me this kind of layout. Now, th- I'm doing this actually live. You, we're, we're, we're completely yeah, well, yeah, this right? Is the, yes, right. yes. We are, so, we are going through and creating a pretty fancy graphic um, right now, live. Oh, man, right. look at that. So now my question to you is, I mean, you can still increase or decrease it the way you actually want it to actually look. Now... How long do you think this would actually take and to get done when you outsourced it? Oh man, it would have been, I would have had to at least wait two to three days to even get this. And then we would have had to go back and make edits because it wouldn't have been good enough. And I mean, I'm sure it would have taken them out. Like I would, I would expect this to, before it's done to take at least 10 days minimum. Yeah. Before we get this to where we could use it. And I've just literally done an entire thing for you within like, well, a couple of minutes. Yeah, with so much less frustration, so many less headaches, and probably even at a lower price point to be able to accomplish yeah. all that. Plus, now you can you... split test and change those images, and and you have so much more control. You want to make your background different, like wow, you can just do all of that so fast. Yeah, so so fast. That's why. So, I mean, you can you can download it in um, different formats as well. So you've got PNG, JPEG, WebP, and PDF. You can even do DPIs, um, 72, 96, 300. You can add your watermark from directly inside here. So now you've got a watermark. You can take it off. And then all you got to do is click export. And you're done. Mm. Hence so that the reason was, yeah, why I mentioned. Yeah, that was the next thing. I was going to ask, like, <clears throat> it's so easy to be able to put this in multiple places. But since you have all those different odd download options, that's how you could do it on WordPress exactly, yeah. or ClickFunnels yeah. or pretty much any page builder. I mean, they all, all use kind of more or less the same output, like you know, yeah, PNG, yeah. JPEG, and WebP. Um mm-hmm. So it's and we've given the option to the user to in regards to what kind of thing they actually want to download. Yeah, man, I would think as a media buyer, this would be so nice to be able to create a lot of really high quality images for your ads. Um, but yeah. be able to do it at such a faster scale because now I can yeah, create no, like exactly. a template for my ad if I want to do a campaign, and I can make like fifty variants, which is probably going to take a designer a, a whole hell of a lot of time, and you could do that. And maybe an hour, you know, depending on how fast creatively you could think up of new variants, right? But that's that's just so amazing how quickly you could change so many different images um, and cutting out all that middle ground. So, I, you know, I, I have to be honest, Mo. I'd imagine price point wise, this has to be pretty expensive um, for for people. Is this more of like a advanced user thing, or is it relatively accessible? Because you know, I, it looks helpful for obviously. Your friends loved it, and we're, we're talking about people that are, you know, high volume, high producing marketers. So, is it more just yeah. for those types of clients, or, or is it something no. that's accessible? It's to um, see the reason why I mentioned um, uh, the marketers that I actually work with is because they know the pain, they understand mm-hmm. what they have in front of them. Okay, um, yeah. but for somebody getting started, they'd be like, mm, maybe uh, you know what? Out of so, let's say for example, when I start a project. You're going to need the following. What I mean by that is, first of all, I'm going to need a graph, I mean, a, a logo. So I'm going to have to design mm-hmm. a logo. Then I'm going to need a favicon to put on my page, right? Then I'm going to need a box shot. Then I'm going to need a cover. Then I'm going to need some sheets if I need them. Then I'm going to need devices. Um, so these are the other devices that have gone to the account. Um, then I might need a, a, a mock up. So a mock up looking like this. Uh, so basically, um, devices inside backgrounds to give mm-hmm. the um, user experience. Then bundles, I've just shown you, illustrations, 
I might need annotation. I'm going to need a background for my web page. Um, yep. And here's the cool thing as well is funnels. So you can do your funnel images. And what I mean by that is you can have your headlines. Mm. Your hero Let's images, stuff like that, all that stuff. Your headlines, your videos, your bullet points, your testimonials, your sketches, your order boxes, licenses, guarantees, coupons. I mean, it's built for that. Okay. In regards oh, to nice. the experienced marketers, they know the value of it. They see it instantly. They're like, you know what? Just give me access. And I, I, I just need to have this. But for somebody getting yep, started, yep. when they start a project, first of all, they will think, okay, you know what? I need this particular graphic. But what they don't know is they're going to need the next graphic, then the next graphic, then the next illustration, then the next background. Mm -hmm. It's never ending. I mean, have you seen or heard or ever heard of any business that makes graphics once and never, ever uses it again, ever? <laughs> no. Never? No. It's impossible. Yeah. It, it's, it just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And that's the key thing here. And the reason, and, and the whole point is, this is our frustration of marketers back in the days when we had to wait for freelancers. We had to, I mean, there was no fiber, okay? There was yeah. no Upwork. It was called, I think, Odesk, I think. And mm. we would actually hunt for these people. Mm. And it wasn't easy. Now, yeah, this, I bet the whole so. idea when you had them, you want to like is, hide your graphic designer so no one could hide yeah. them, right? <laughs> yeah, and this is the and this is the thing. I mean, when I show it to the marketer, they basically say, "Look, just tell us who your graphic designer is. We just want to use him for a couple of days." I'm like thinking, mm -hmm. dude, there's no graphic designer. It's a software. Yep. So when yep. they see the software, instantly they're like, "Dude, just give me access. I know exactly what this is, and I know exactly what I'm going to do with this." Yeah, and it's incredible because. In the time we've actually originally launched it, we've had like almost 160,000 downloads of users. Wow. Meaning that's crazy. They've actually, we, we actually want people to actually use the software. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't even give them like a 30 day uh, money back guarantee, which basically means that if you don't like it within 30 days, you've spent time inside the software, correct? You made some graphics, you've, you've done a bit of stuff. We, t we actually inform you by email when you ask for a refund. Look, Go into your account, download everything that you need. You've given it a try and you think it's not for you. That's entirely fine. Download the graphics and we'll give you a refund. That's awesome. So you get to keep the graphics that you made no matter what. Here's you can that keep the graphics that you made. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. I mean, it really very low risk. So, so that being said, and I know I feel like I'm like some sort of like, <laughs> like I'm in like a, as seen on TV, but I don't mean to, but like, I'm generally curious. Like, so for price point for this, it still feels like something that has to be like agency level um, cost, right? So is, is that something where it, it like, where, where is it at for that? Is that some like, um, is it a monthly basis? Is it annual? What does it look like so, if somebody I mean, wants right to have now, this in their business right now? Yeah. So, I mean, right now on um, ClickBank, it's been offered for like $47 um, for the front end. But then we've got the upsell funnels, but basically it gets you more and more advanced. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the yeah, starting yeah, yeah. point, it's just $40, $47 just to get in there, try it and see if it's something that you want. Uh, that but then you can awesome. do the upgrades later. Okay. However, yeah, we're actually yeah. converting this entire thing into uh, a monthly recurring. Oh, cool. In, Very yeah, cool. In, in the coming months. And the okay, reason so, for that yeah, is now's because, the time. Now's the time. Yeah. Because, and the reason for that is we're adding significant amounts of templates, number one, mm -hmm. which, and that's across every type of design. So we're looking at social mm -hmm. media, we're looking at e com, we're looking at packaging, we're looking at um, print. So you could be able to um, create your label and print it, get a bottle, put it in the bottle. Um, once you have it on the bottle, you can put it on the ad. You can take it from the ad, put it on your landing page. So in essence, at the, the end goal based is you wouldn't need to go anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, gosh, you could do label design. That's huge. That's super yeah, label huge. Label design. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. So, well, um, you know, th this is just awesome. I, I love when we could bring like tools um, strategies and information that can immediately impact the business in nothing but positive ways. And I, I don't see how this is anything but that. Like we are totally just changing the way that you could go about all of your images, all of your design and similar to where site builders really changed the way that we built websites, especially click oh, yeah. when it, it really specialized in building, 
you know, direct response ones, we have images here that could be created for that world, for your products, without all the headaches, without all the hassles. So, um, you know, kind of two parts on this, and, and we'll make sure to include this. This actually, you mentioned before, this is an offer on ClickBank too. So if you're listening right now, and not only do you want it, you definitely should get it. Try it for 47 bucks. Why not? But the other side of this is your audience might also really, really need or want a product like this as well. And so, um, you know, th this is something that you could promote as an affiliate on um, ClickBank as well. So be sure to find it. The account, we'll make sure to put the, the tool page in the show notes below as well as the sales page so people could go and, and check it out, um, either promote it, get it themselves, hopefully both. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. definitely you're, you're, you're kind of cheating yourself if you're not using something like this right now. So, so um, here's yeah, something unless I guess you else that would be saving time. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, here's something else that would be interesting as well. You can actually add your own ClickBank affiliate link into the system. And what that basically does Ooh. is, so let's say I want to share. So let's say you're, you're, you're my customer or, you're, or my client. All I've got to do is click where it says share I click on share. I can share mm -hmm. this image with you anonymously. So you don't know it's oh, coming wow. from click designs uh, under the agency model. So I'll show you the mm -hmm. agency in one second. Um, or I can publicly share it with you where you can view only as an image, or if you have click designs, I can share it with you and it will be available to you in your account. So if you don't have a click designs account, all I've got to do is attach your affiliate link to this, Im this um, URL here. And you would see the image, you would click on it. And then you'll be taken to the sale page. And then if they buy, you get credit for it as well. So we've got a built-in inbuilt um, affiliate system as well. Which... That's so cool. And, and these are templates. So you, I'm, I'm, I'm certain you've heard of, um, what is it? Funnel sharing, right? Yep. We have design sharing. Nice. Nice. Yeah. And not only that, you mentioned agency earlier. And what that means is you can do your custom, I mean, easy branding inside of it, but then you can add your team members. So let's say you've got multiple, you can add up to 10 team members. So what that means is they can create graphics for you, but you do not need to log into their account to see what the work they've done. All you have to do is click on my designs and then you can filter the team members here and you can see the design done by that team member. Hmm. And what's even interesting is you can make the edits right here on uh, in your account, which will automatically feed it to their site. So everybody's got the latest designs. Oh, nice. That's awesome, man. It really is like how to scale an in-house team, um, a design team, like all through your software. Yeah. It's having your own in-house team with mm -hmm. without the same cost and honestly, even more efficient because it still takes some time. So that's super amazing. This is super, super cool. So, well, gosh, any, um, I know where we are getting, we are getting kind of beyond the time that we, we scheduled to keep you. I hate to keep you too much longer knowing it's the end of your day. And I'm sure you're sitting there thinking about a nice end of the day drink or something like that, Mo. But um, before we go, I want to give you an opportunity. If you, if you want to give one more thing just to show the people, um, or if you want to say anything, um, you just kind of close things out, that would be fantastic. Because this has just been so awesome. And again, just knowing and seeing that this is, so easily available um, and so easily accessible it just kind of blows my mind. So yeah, is there anything else you could do to surprise the people and blow their minds anymore <laughs> before we this, head out? I, I guess the um, the shock is literally going to be, you're going to spend up to $300 on a logo, okay? There's mm -hmm. thousands of logos inside Minimum. the system. Then you're gonna That's be gonna cool. need you're gonna need a book cover or some kind of cover or a mock-up or a bundle, and each one of those is gonna cost you like another hundred, another two hundred, or whatever it mm -hmm. is, right? Your the idea of thinking like this is too expensive or anything like that is an investment, and actually it's not even a cost because you're gonna need graphics. Name me any business on this planet that actually does not have graphics any business man i'm pretty sure my kids lemonade sand tries to get graphics involved so i can't think of one <laughs> and the reality is what you may think today is you know what i don't need graphics guaranteed you're going to need graphics for your business today yep. tomorrow and in the future because yep. we're visual creatures okay totally totally well i mean the logo alone again like knowing that you don't have to pay somebody for that and you go and have control over it and iterate it. I mean, that alone is worth the price of admission. The fact that there's, that's a, 
you know, a tip of the iceberg is, is amazing. So, well, again, Mo, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you showing us this and be able to Not actually see exactly how easy it is. Um, and again, for those of you look at the show notes below, um, we're going to have the JV tool page for you to promote or also the sales page so you can get this product and then you can even promote it through, um, you know, the actual software. So really, really amazing stuff. Again, click designs. Um, the nickname we'll put in there at CLK designs, um, that, that just, if you want to promote it, check it out, all, all those different things until next time, guys, please rate, review, subscribe, tell us what kind of content you're doing. What are the challenges and problems that you feel like haven't been answered that you'd like to have answered? Maybe it was, but it wasn't a way that resonated for you. Please share. We want to continue to fill your life with value, grow your business, and make sure we're serving you properly. So um, with that, I know Thomas isn't here today, so I will steal his line and know that it is his line, not mine. But um, Mo, again, it was great for your time and for the, all the people and listeners out there. Happy scaling. Thanks so much. Until next time. All right. Thanks a lot.